Good morning. Good morning. It's that time where our spirits are united to our Father. We become one with our Lord through prayer. I welcome you all once again in the presence of the Lord. I am so thankful that the Spirit of the Lord woke me up this morning. I can see you guys are coming in already. Welcome in the presence of the Lord. I don't know where you are in, in the world. I welcome you. I know you are sensitive to the Spirit of the Lord. You are listening to the promptings of the Spirit of the Lord, the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Where He leads me, I will go. Thank you. This is a beautiful, and above all, it's a powerful platform where God's people unite in one spirit, in one faith, with the one Lord. God bless you. I welcome you all. As you are coming in, let me remind you once again, let's work together. Let's share the broadcast. Let's like the page of the Apostle. Why? Because we want to reach as many people as possible. Because those who are winning souls, more souls to the kingdom of God, their crowns are going to shine like stars. You are adding more stars to your crown as you are sharing the broadcast. God bless you. Thank you for coming in. I can see the numbers are growing. Let's remind ourselves, my beloved prayer partners, why are we waking up so early in the morning? People are in their deep sleep. Let's remind ourselves with this truth. It's a powerful truth. The middle, the middle, it's a link between the beginning and the end. How you act during the middle will determine how you are going to end your journey. The middle belongs to God. All right. What do you do when you are in the middle? I believe there is somebody who's watching me right now. You are in the middle of something. Are you in the middle of the battle? Are you in the middle of death? Are you in the middle of sickness and diseases? Are you in the middle of quarrels? Hmm? Are you in the middle hmm, of divorce? Are you in the middle of quitting? Are you in the middle of something? There is somebody who's in the middle of something. Are you in the middle of something? All right, it's in the middle of the night. People are in their deep sleep. The middle belongs to God. What you do when you are in the middle will determine how you are going to end your journey. What you do when you are in the middle? Hmm? You correct your posture. You position yourself. Okay, that's what you do when you are in the middle of something. Correct your posture. You and I, we are in the middle of the night. Well, depending where you are in the world. In, part, in my part of the world, in South Africa, it's in the middle of the night. What are we doing now? We are positioning ourselves in the Lord, politically. Yes, people are positioning themselves for the elections, spiritually. We are correcting our posture because we want to connect with our Father. We want Him to speak to us. We want Him to give us breakthroughs. We are adjusting our position. When you are in the middle of something, yes, you allow the Lord to take control of your life. In the middle of the night, because of lack of knowledge, the devil takes advantage of God's people in the middle of the night. You probably know the truth. In the middle of the night, our children are being raped. I can prove that scripturally. 
in the middle of the night. Hmm? Crime increases in the middle of the night. Hmm? Witches are increasing their activities in the middle of the night. I mean, cars are being stolen in the middle of the night. Hmm? In the middle of the night. In families, there are quarrels. There are people who haven't slept. They've been fighting all the way. I mean, quarreling about small issues. And because of the lack of knowledge, the devil takes advantage of God's people. Because there are few people we are disturbing, who are disturbing the maneuvers of the devil. You and I, right now, by the name of the Lord, we are going to stop the maneuvers of the evil one. We are going to disturb his attacks upon God's people. The devil is alive. He is under our feet. We are more powerful than him because greater one abides in us than the one who is in the world. In the middle of the night, yes, let's remind ourselves, in the middle of the night, in the book of Mark, chapter number 1, verse number 35, the Bible says, the Son of Man, Jesus Christ, in the middle of the night, he arose and he went to a secluded place and there he prayed. I've asked you this question. What's your last name? Mkwena, Mfuke, Kaba, Zamini, Matthews, Jacobs. Hmm? If the Son of Man arose early in the morning, I said early in the morning, it's between 12 o'clock midnight to 3 o'clock in the morning. That's the morning. That's the early hours of the morning. Jesus woke up and prayed. If Jesus being the Son of Man, he woke up, he didn't allow the spirit of laziness to overwhelm him. In the middle of the night, he arose. Right now, allow me to stand against the spirit of laziness. Let me stand against the spirit of doubt. And I know the devil is sending evil thoughts to you. What's the use of praying so early in the morning? What's going to happen? What's going? God is not going to do anything. And the more you pray, things are worsening in your life. The devil is a liar. Our prayers are not wasted. When we pray, God hears our prayers and he answers our prayers. I believe that you are sowing a seed of power. You are sowing a seed of authority over the forces of darkness. Continue to pray. Don't allow the lies of the devil to overwhelm your mind. Let me tell you, when you pray, God answers your prayers. All you need to know to do, remember the key, it's praying always. Don't stop praying. Pray without ceasing. Continuously, you must draw closer to your creator draw closer to your father because by so doing you know in your heart that my prayers are not wasted and god is gonna answer my prayers the secret is pray always don't stop praying continue to pray by faith are you in the middle of something jesus woke up and he prayed we also read from the book of acts Chapter number 16, Paul and Silas in the middle of the night. Instead of complaining, instead of grumbling, instead of questioning the will of God for their lives, they are in prison for one reason and one reason only is for preaching the gospel of the kingdom of God. Instead of complaining, they praised the Lord. Hallelujah. Ah, I think that they were singing the song of, of David, Psalms chapter number 100. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name in the middle of the night. They sang praises unto the Lord. And the Bible says, they also prayed. And because God is a faithful God, the Bible says, suddenly, there was an earthquake. The prison doors were opened. Even those who were 
in prison together with them. They had them praying and they were set free. Paul and Silas were set free by the power of God. Are you in the middle of something? When you are in the middle of something, you better pray because suddenly there will be an earthquake in your life. I prophesy upon your life an earthquake. Chains are going to be broken. I'm in the shuttles of the evil one. I'm going to be broken upon your life. God is about to set your life free. My beloved prayer partners, let me encourage you. Continue to pray. Continue to believe in the power of prayer. Don't doubt him. He's a faithful God. Hallelujah. Continue to pray. Continue to believe in the power of prayer. And suddenly, I mean, there will be a sudden miracle in your life. The open door, blessing, is coming your way. I mean, you are going to be set free from your prison. You may be in a prison of bitterness. You may be in the bitterness of lack. I mean, in the prison of lack of faith. You may be in prison of sicknesses and diseases. I prophesy upon your life, there's going to be a sudden earthquake in your life. Earthquake in the area of finances. Earthquake in the area of relationships. Earthquake in every fiber and tissue of your body. I prophesy upon your life. As you are going to pray right now, have a quiet time before the Lord, in the presence of the Lord. I pray that you may come closer to Him by faith. Don't doubt your Father. I love you with the love of the Lord. My prayer partners, I don't want to waste your time because it's time to pray. Let's do it by faith. Let me ask you once again, let's work together. Let's share the podcast. All right. Many people need to hear this type of a message. Let's stop the maneuvers of the devil. Let's stop the witchcraft activities upon our lives. Let's draw closer to our Father. And remember, beloved prayer partners, if you feel in your heart of hearts to be a blessing on this platform, you'd like to give your love offering to help me to continue to preach the gospel. The number is 83 449-1858. I believe somebody is sending the numbers, Mantolo's numbers, because she's in the office of the apostle. The numbers are being sent right now. So that if you want to give your love offerings, you want to give your tithes, you feel that this platform has become your spiritual home. It's your spiritual treasury. That's where God stores his blessings for his people it's this platform and you feel that this platform is blessing you please god bless you the numbers thank you very much it's 062 407 8167 if you'd like to send your love offering thank you also mantolo god bless you i love you all with the love of the lord let's go into the presence of the lord go to your secluded place let's connect spiritually i believe in the god of abraham the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. I believe you also believe in the God of the Apostle. He's a generational God. I love you with the love of the Lord. Continue to share the broadcast. Let's go to a secluded place and pray to our Father. Shalom. Peace.